Hello Sagittarius, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your love reading here guys using both of my self-created decks, the Modern Day Seers Tarot and Oracle. This is Tarot with a Twist and my Yummy Tarot deck. So if you're not familiar with this one, this contains all of the usual tarot messages, but it's also got oracle messages as well as new court cards in that deck. All right, so let's begin here. Sagittarius taking a look at what energies need to present itself at this point in time, whether it's pertaining to you and a particular someone or whatever your angel guides, spirit guides need to communicate with you at this time. General advice as always, so please keep that in mind throughout the duration of your reading. So let's begin, Sagittarius, and just allow the messages to come forward the way they need to. All right, what do we have? We are starting off with the pink rose. That could be someone's favorite flower. It is coming up in the upright, so it does represent young love, innocent love, admiration, elegance, joy, gentleness, appreciation, and it does represent the divine feminine in the upright here. So let's see how that plays a role in the rest of the messages that come forward. What else do we need to know here? All right, so we do have the Four of Cups that is followed by the Two of Wands right here. So I'm already seeing a situation that might have run into some challenges, Divine Feminine, when it comes to your masculine. You could be dealing with a Scorpio here. Okay, so we do have the Four of Cups representing perhaps a challenge, you know, the regrets that they have, things aren't moving, things seem to be stagnant. Okay, and it perhaps could also be a person who feels that they missed the chance to make this work. It can represent a missed opportunity. However, with cards like the Two of Wands right next to that, this person could also be feeling that perhaps they're feeling like there could still be progress that's made here, but they're also feeling restless at this point in time because they want to be able to come in and fix this, but maybe they feel like they can't. You know, clearly we have a situation that came to an end here, but the positive thing about the death card is that, yes, a situation might have run into a rough patch as far as ending. You guys might have gone into separation, but through changes that are implemented either within oneself or in a connection, there is this need to transition away from those challenges in order to create change, to move forward, you know, and sometimes that can result in a new beginning. The way I see the Two of Wands, it's giving a person a chance to make different decisions, and that decision ultimately will affect how their future plays out, okay? So this could be how your person is thinking at this point in time. So Divine Feminine, this could be a masculine that knows that if they want to be a part of your future, then they're going to have to do something drastically different here. Okay. We also have the Emerald of Water. So this is one of the Oracle messages as well in this deck. So it does say it's time to go with the flow of where life and love want to take you. Being rigid and closed-minded prevents you from growing and finding the many blessings that are meant for you. Remove stagnancy, and that's already picking up off of the Four of Cups right there. Stubbornness and stalemate type situations from your journey. Love yourself enough to see that you are a gem with so much to offer to the world and to the one who is meant for you. But if somebody doesn't recognize those qualities within themselves, then it's very difficult for them to see it in anyone else. You know, so this could be what your person is going through here, Sagittarius. You could also be cross-watching for a Sagittarian here. We do have the Nine of Cups. All right, so satisfaction, emotional stability. But this also represents a wish that can manifest, a particular dream or goal that your person might be focused on when it comes to you. You could also be dealing with a Libra right here. We do have the Justice card. So this is clarity. This is the opportunity to face the truth of a situation. It is picking up off of the 
energy where you want to be able to balance things out between you and your person or to be able to just simply find balance in one's life. This could also be picking up off of legal matters for those of you who relate to that. And if it's coming up for you here, Sagittarius, perhaps this is an indication that something's going to work out in your favor, hopefully. We do have the lover's card right here. You could also be dealing with a Gemini. You could have Gemini in your chart. There's love here between you and this person, even though you guys went into separation, even though you went your separate ways, even though something came to an end, this person still feels drawn to you, regardless of anything that might have happened. This can represent the love that they still have in their heart. It can represent the fact that they want to be able to make different choices and decisions to bring the romance back. The sexual chemistry, the attraction, being able to come back into union with you. This is a card of choices and decisions. And look at the next card after it. So we've got the Seven of Cups representing having perhaps way too many choices and therefore they might have missed the chance to be with you if they made foolish choices in the past and that contributed to why you guys broke up or separated so right now it is clarifying here with the two of swords sagittarius that we have a situation here that is at a stalemate and it might be picking up off of that vibe because of this emerald of water where somebody is so set in their ways that's what's creating the stagnancy and that stalemate vibe. Someone's not willing to go with the flow, so to speak. And that's addressed here as well. We also have Archangel Sophia, and that is followed by the Four of Wands. For some of you, there's this desire for a reunion. Maybe you guys are both wanting that here. This could also be picking up off of a Twin Flame connection. Somebody's name could be Sophia as well. So Archangel Sophia's card indicates, I am the angel of love. I can help you manifest a reconciliation with your beloved. And that clearly is what somebody wants here, a reunion, a reconciliation. I can assist in efforts towards forgiveness and bring about a mutual understanding between you and your partner. I can show you the way to self-love and in finding the great love of your life. And I have a feeling here, Sagittarius, you represent that great love for this person. Call on me if you are looking to awaken your heart chakra. So perhaps Archangel Sophia can really help your person to really focus on what needs to be done, whatever action needs to be implemented in order to bring about a reunion. Okay, so that's the opening message here. Let's go ahead and grab some additional cards from the Yummy Tarot. This particular deck, by the way, it's, it's a new one that I recently introduced and it's currently on sale for the next couple of weeks. So if that's something you're interested in, I'll, of course, I'll link it down below. You can visit my deck shop and check this one out as well as all the other ones that are available there. All right, Sagittarius, let's go ahead and see what else we can learn here when it comes to you and the person you're thinking about. So we have a situation that seems to be stuck for some reason. All right, so we have a person who might be lacking their sense of direction. We do see that somebody needs to find their direction here. So if they're feeling lost in some way, shape, or form when it comes to you and the relationship, Sagittarius, I have a feeling when it comes to your person, they will eventually be able to gain clarity to see what it is that they need to see to get back on track when it comes to you, when it comes to the relationship. We've got threes popping up here. So this is, of course, tapping into teamwork, working together, collaborating, being on the same page. And that certainly would be quite helpful for you and this person. Threes can also indicate love triangles. It could also be a third party situation. So if that was what created the stagnancy, then that needs to be cleared up. And perhaps your person needs to really decide what it is that they want, because if they want you and only you, then that third party element has to not be a part of the equation here. We do have the nine of cups. So a wish that they really are hoping to manifest here. 
that's what it is that they're hoping for. That's the second time in this reading and only two decks that I'm using for this reading. And they're both coming through here with the Nine of Cups. There's something about you that they feel drawn to, fulfilled and content when you guys are together. But something happened here. We've got the Five of Cups. Look at that loss and despair. And that's followed by the Seven of Swords, which can be looked upon as a cheater card, deceit, lies, a third party situation like I mentioned. So I'm not surprised if this is what your person is going through, feeling lost, feeling alone, you know, feeling very sad. And it's almost like a death. And we did see the death card, right? So they're struggling through this. Divine Feminine, you are coming in with the energy of the Queen of Swords. So you, you probably did cut out your masculine here, whether you're single, whether you've moved on to another relationship. You definitely have your guard up, your boundaries up when it comes to this person, this masculine who ended up hurting you. We do have the Two of Pentacles. So as we can see there, there was juggling going on. They perhaps were on the fence. They couldn't make up their mind, didn't know what they wanted, and made some poor choices here. This could be a thing of the past, though. With the world card popping up, this might be a situation that is in the past. It's a done deal. If there was infidelity, perhaps that's no longer happening. And this now opens up an opportunity opening up a new door for this wish to happen here in however way you need it to, Sagittarius. Now look how significant these cards are about to get. We've got the Temperance card, which is picking up off of your own Sagittarius energy, all right? And that's followed by the Sun. Do you see that? So in order for you to find this happiness, in order for you to be successful in your love life, or even any other part of your life that you're focused on at this time. We've got the reference to needing patience right here, Sagittarius. And again, it's your own energy. So this is affecting you greatly. Maybe you're feeling a little bit antsy and you just want to fix something or you want to be able to move on to the next chapter of your life without feeling so hurt or lost. If that's something that you relate to, I have a feeling this could be the person that you're thinking about as well. They're struggling. Maybe you're struggling too. The temperance card will give you guys the opportunity at love once again, either through a reconciliation or once you're able to find balance back in your life, perhaps for some of you that could even direct you onto new love if you're single and if you're not interested in reconnecting with someone from your past who might have cheated on you, especially if it was a very challenging time with third parties and somebody that you couldn't trust. But this is your ultimate destination right here, Sagittarius, is to be able to find that happiness that you absolutely deserve. Okay, so you can have these things, but if it's not presenting itself to you right here, right now, that doesn't mean it can't come in later. And I have a feeling just based off of what we're seeing here, it will come in later, you know. So just hang tight, be patient, and just allow life to unfold the way it is meant to. If you really are meant to come back into union with somebody in time, that can happen. If you're looking for new love in time, that will happen as well. All right, so I'll leave that there, Sagittarius. Hopefully there's something in these messages that you are able to relate to. And if you're interested in your own personal private reading, that info is down below in the description box, as well as the action buttons at the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.